We're past the era of walking into someone's home, seeing a big flat screen TV, and having your jaw drop. The problem with TVs today, they have a distinct look. They look like TVs. Enter the Serif from Samsung. The name, the Serif, comes from the Serif font, having decorative lines added to the letter stem. And if you hadn't noticed, the side of it has an I-shaped profile resembling the Serif letter I, hence the name. The Serif comes in a cloud white color, as it's called, with three different sizes. 55 inch, 49 inch, and the 43 inch I have here. Let's take a look at its big brother in the living room. 55 inch, let's go. I love you like la 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 la. This TV looks attractive from the front, the side, and even the back. Who wants to stare at the back of a TV? But with this one, you get satisfaction by that clean look. This TV has a cover that attaches to the back of it, hiding all the wires away. Cord management was in mind when designing this TV. The legs include an attachment that you can feed the power cable through it to hide it. If the physical design wasn't enough, there's an ambient mode where instead of a blank black screen when it's turned off, you get to choose exclusive patterns by world-renowned French furniture designers Ronan and Erwin Borlek, who also co-designed this TV in collaboration with Samsung, as well as other modes that are fully customizable. It even mimics the wall behind it to blend in. Also add widgets like weather, date time, news headlines, and more. You can't hang this on a wall, but you can place it anywhere else, whether in a room corner, center, or a countertop. It was designed to be portable and move around, supported by four metal legs. No matter where it ends up, it adds another level of sophistication to your home with a shelf on top to place your favorite decorative pieces. The sleek and slim one remote is nice. I had a Samsung TV a few years ago with the remote that's similar and looks to this one, but this one feels better and navigating around is very responsive. Netflix and Amazon Prime have dedicated buttons that will launch their respective apps upon pressing. You can also use Voice Assistant by setting up Bixby, Alexa, or Google. You can say things like launching an app. Launch Hulu. Search the internet for lifestyle TVs. It's very fast. You can also change the channel or even TV settings such as change the contrast. I find this helpful instead of having to navigate multiple menus to access a setting. Finally, you can control smart home devices Turn such as lights, off. thermostats, and many more. Let's talk about the picture quality. That's important too. Samsung used the same type of display as their Q60 lineup. This is QLED Ultra HD 4K resolution display. If you want to learn more about resolutions, click the card up here if you're watching this video on YouTube. For a video I recently made where I go over all the details about resolutions and monitors and TVs. The Serif works great for normal TV use with razor sharp 4K resolution having fantastic color and clarity, offering 100% color volume utilizing quantum dot technology bringing colors and pictures to life with HDR10 plus support. The only downside is the backlight bleed around the edges. It's not too bad, but this is not an OLED display panel anyway. It's good enough and I'm happy with it. The display panel also supports adaptive picture mode. The Serif can sense changes in the surrounding light and adjusts the screen settings to maintain optimal brightness and contrast for a better viewing experience being easy on the eyes. Gaming on the Serif is smooth with an HDMI 2.1 port so you can enjoy your PS5 4K games at the full 120Hz refresh rate. I don't have anything physically connected to either TV as all of the content I consume is cloud based. But you can with multiple USB and HDMI ports and even an optical audio out. While the sound out of the TV is better than expected at 40 watts and 4 channel speaker, I still haven't figured out where to place a sound bar surround sound system I have for that extra boom when watching a movie. Maybe I'll put it on top of the TV. I kind of want to keep the area around the TV minimalistic. There's also an active voice amplifier where the Serif detects distracting noises and automatically adjusts the volume. Wireless connections are plenty and seamless. They include Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and NFC. First, you can do screen sharing using Smart View where you can mirror your phone on one side and be able to watch TV on the other side at the same time. You can customize the layout to your choosing. Next, you have SmartThings, an app you can download and connect to your TV to pretty much control your TV from your phone. You have the remote control option for volume and changing the channel, among other things. You can change the source and access apps and select an ambient mode. You can also use AirPlay to connect to your Apple device, iPhone, iPad, or a Mac. The next two features are really cool. This one I really like. You can connect your mobile device by simply placing it on top of the Serif as it connects automatically using NFC technology to listen to and visualize music. I'm surprised.
surprised they missed one feature as it's not difficult to implement having enough real estate for a Qi wireless standard strip. I just wish they added wireless charging when you place your phone on top which would have been sick. The last option is called tab view. This one is only compatible with Samsung phones. This is screen mirroring. Whatever you're viewing on your phone will be shown on the TV with just a quick tap anywhere on the surf. It works in portrait or landscape mode. Another shameless plug, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. A few more options allow you to mirror your PC or Mac, connect an input device, a gaming console, or external storage. So the box the TV came in is meant to be repurposed to make a household item. There's a QR code on the packaging. When scanned, it takes you to Samsung's Eco Package website. You just select your TV's model and size, then pick one of several designs to create something usable. My daughter picked a cat tunnel. We don't have a cat, but her choice. The instructions are very clear as to where you need to cut because the packaging is already dotted for accurate measurements. I'm gonna speed up the video and pause at interesting moments. Oh, and it didn't last two minutes before it crumbled. Don't trust us building a bridge. Nevertheless, we had fun working on it. I'm in love with the design and features of this TV. The price is a little steep at $1,500 for the 55 inch model and $1,000 for the 43 inch model. If you're mesmerized by this TV, haven't watched this video, Samsung has another TV for you. Meet the frame, which is even crazier as it looks like a painting hung on a wall with interchangeable bezels. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you got value out of it, hit the thumbs up like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of any new content I put out. What are your thoughts about this TV? Do you think lifestyle TVs are gonna become a thing with manufacturers or consumers shifting in that direction? Comment section below. I'll tech you up later.